Alright, we are back with more Manhunt 1 on the PC. We're up to mission 20, the final mission. Let's do it. Very cool mission this one. I love it. This is where we take on Pigsy. Sort of like a boss fight almost. Very very cool fight. We have no weapons okay. All that is scattered throughout this area is glass shards. There are exactly three of them. We need to use three on him. As you can see he just jumps out at you at random locations. And you need to haul ass, grab the glass shard and uh, sneak up behind him go into the execution stance and go ahead and use the shard on him so you'll see what happens here when I do that so it goes red straight away and basically that's just gonna damage him a little bit okay so we need to do that two more times there's two more glass shards in the area one right in here which is handy and we need to try and find where he's ran to Yep, oh, he saw us. There he is. Let's see which way he goes. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, one more time. And he will then run off. He'll freak out. We haven't killed him after we've done it one more time. So this is where the final shard is anyway. In this room. It's such a fucking decrepit looking area as well. It's so... Atmosphere is just fucked in this level. It's terrible. As in good. But um... Where the fuck is he? Oh sh... Yet. Uh oh. Oh. Ah shit. Hopefully he turns r the other way. Perfect. Alright, there we go. And he's gonna run off now. No more. <laughs> so we'll chase him up the stairs here and just make sure you grab this brick because we'll actually need to use that now. Now just walk up here because that's where he is. As you can see he's just cowering down. Alright, he's hurt. So we need to throw the brick down the stairs there. Fuck. Or anywhere, it doesn't really matter anyway. As long as you get him to uh fucking run off so he'll run up the staircase this is actually the spiral staircase from the previous mission okay mission 19 this area was previously blocked off to us but now we've got access to it so once again there he is he's cowering in the corner now what we need to do to defeat him is we need to get him to run on this metal sort of fenced grating area okay and I'll show you what I mean I'll just tap the wall Railing, get his attention. So here we go. This is gonna suck your gut. Over here. So as you can see, it can't really support his weight. So we need to get him. He's ran off now, but we need to chase him. Get him to come back up there and do the same thing again. Oh shit! Here he comes. Alright, and this is really fucking cool. I love this part. <laughs> fucking great. Absolutely fucking great. So, Pigsy's done. There's his arms. <laughs> That's fucked. 
Let's see if I can see him. I don't want to fucking kill myself here. There you go. You can just see his dead body down there. Pool of blood. So, what? Now we've got these chainsaw. Pretty cool weapon. Just grab the checkpoint. Now you can, as it was said just before, it popped up with a little uh, tutorial thing on the top left there. It said you can press the action 2 button or mouse 2 button on PC to turn it on. As you can see, it makes a noise when you have it active like this. There is no point to doing this, okay? So just shut it off and be silent like that. Now, we need to actually use the chainsaw on this door, okay? Inside that door is Starkweather and 5 SWAT guys. As soon as we use the chainsaw on the door, uh, the three SWAT guys will chase us down this staircase here and we'll need to take care of them so we'll execute all three of them with this chainsaw. I'll get a hasty, violent and gruesome on them with it just so you can see all the different execution animations with the chainsaw. Two of the guards will be standing here, one here and the other one here. They'll just be sort of guarding Starkweather and we'll just take care of them with the assault rifle and then we'll go ahead in and kill uh, Starkweather with the chainsaw. So here we go, just use it on the door. Send him to hell! Go on! Alright, so they're gonna chase us. Your chainsaw is on, so make sure you turn it off, okay? Uh, you don't want them to hear the sound of your chainsaw. So they're all gonna run straight down there and we'll just follow them and we'll execute them one by one. This is the hardest part of the mission, okay? Because I don't like the way these guys patrol, okay? They're fucking very unpredictable. So there's two pretty much right here. And I'm gonna take care of this guy straight away with a gruesome. Shit, he stopped for a second. <laughs> Fuck, there we go. So there's two more left, okay. There's one, I don't know where the other guy is. Oh shit, there he is. This guy's gonna see his dead teammate. Or he may not even care, which is even better, so I'll get a violent here. <laughs> My favorite one. And we'll just take care of the final guy. With a hasty. Where is he? Here he comes. I'm backing that he'll f continue walking up that way. Yep, beautiful. So we'll go ahead and get a hasty on this guy. And as soon as I do, I'm going to grab his gun. <laughs> Alright. And take care of those two guards that are standing outside the door to Stark with her. Okay, this is the easiest way to take care of them. If you, you can just uh, see their head here. So there's one. Oh, you little fuck, you got me. So anyway, he's taken care of, that is it. Just uh, grab painkiller. Alright, go back and grab the chainsaw, because we'll need that. Where did I leave it? There it is. One thing I forgot to mention as I was executing these guys with the chainsaw is that when you get up behind them, the exec it's hard to tell when Cash is in the execution stance, okay? Because normally with like a glass shard, for example, when you get behind the enemy, he'll raise his hand. But with the chainsaw, he doesn't really move from this sort of posture, okay? It's hard to distinguish it, but he'll you you can tell. He he goes into a different stance, okay? So you might have to fuck around with that. Get comfortable with that. Alright, so the trick to defeating Starkweather here is I'll just turn on the chainsaw. Basically, we're going to go chainsaw this door down, we'll go in, he will have a handgun. He only has about six bullets or so. Okay, so you're just going to run around, make him waste his bullets, and then you're going to go straight up to him and chainsaw him, okay, and that will end it. So let's do it. <laughs> Shit. 
shits himself, falls off his chair. Good shit. Alright. So we'll make him sort of fire his rounds. Hopefully he'll keep missing. Come on. Ah, that may be it. Okay, so he's only got about four bullets. And as you can see, he's defenseless. Now all I'm going to do is go up. Just want to hear what he has to say. Sometime. Ramirez was a schmuck anyway. I could do with a man like you on location. Take it easy there. You almost did for me. All right, let's go ahead and kill him. Just fucking come here. Come here, you fuck. You don't get it, do you? God. Cash, I made you. Shit. Shit. Acclaimed movie maker Lionel Starkweather has been found dead today along with several of his bodyguards, at his estate at the Wapona Hills Residential District. In what investigators are calling a bloody vendetta, an unknown assailant infiltrated the compound, killing Starkweather, but more interestingly, leading police to the site of a snuff film ring being run from the estate's confines. Linked to this ring is Carcer City's own police chief, Gary Schaefer, whose lawyer stated that he intends to plead not guilty. All right, so there we go, guys. That concludes Manhunt, and I got the time bonus there. That was cool. Two killed with the guns, and five executed. Three for star points, four out of five. So we'll hit enter. I'm just going to go ahead and save it. Why not? Final score, 70 out of 100. Okay, star ratings. So that's pretty cool, pretty good. And... That is it guys, that concludes the Manhunt 1 walkthrough on PC. Hope you guys have enjoyed watching it, it's a fucking great game, okay? In my top 5 games of all time. If you've enjoyed watching that, you can check out my Manhunt 2 walkthrough on my channel. I don't have commentary on that, it's just uh, me playing the game, okay? But um, yeah, check that out if you have enjoyed watching this great game and that's it guys thanks for watching and see you later